Hi, and welcome to this quick video uh, from Machine Quilting Academy. And I have had a customer just be a little bit hesitant in understanding how to transfer all their patterns and folders and quilts and blocks from their old IntelliQuilter tablet, which is getting very tired and they've chosen to upgrade it. So they've received their new upgraded tablet and now they needed just that little bit of help to show them how easy it is to transfer everything over to the new tablet so that it exactly mirrors their old tablet. Right down to the quilt they've been currently working on, which will be in their last quilt folder. So I have prepared this on my own tablet just to show you how easy it is to, first of all, do an archive of your older tablet and how you can reload that back onto your new one. Now, of course, the magic actually happens behind the scenes. When you first order your upgraded tablet and docking station from Zoltan, he will ask you for your logs and potentially that's how he gets your password. And he will build into the software of the new tablet before he sends it to you the ability to be able to reload your archives from your old tablet to your new one. So watch how simple the process is. I have started my IntelliQuilter and I would like to archive my tablet so that every pattern, every block and every quilt uh, is backed up on my USB. So here we are on the main menu and we will first go to we will first go to utilities, library maintenance, and here on the right hand side, we can see archive libraries and reload libraries. So first of all, we will choose to archive our libraries and it's waiting for the USB drive and it gives you a clue on uh, an arrow on where it needs to be plugged in and any USB will work. So plug in the USB drive and now it's going to copy all the files. Now I have quite a few on this tablet and it is an older tablet so it may take a little while to transfer everything onto my USB drive. Please be patient, it's working in the background. You can even see the light flashing on the USB drive itself whilst it is copying all the files. Now it's done the blocks and it's up to the quilts. Now all of these will end up in a zip folder on that USB drive. You can choose to back that zip folder up onto your PC or your computer, your home computer. Um, and I'd suggest putting it into yet another folder with the date on it so that you know when you saved it. Archiving your tablet is like backing up any computer and it's something that you should do on a regular basis just in case worst case scenario happens and your IntelliQuilter tablet fails one day, then you, at least you would have a recent archive of everything that's on there that you can then replace on a new tablet. And this is what we will be doing. So once the process has been completed, and all the files have been transferred to your USB stick. We simply follow the instructions on the IQ screen and where it clearly states to remove the USB drive and touch back. And I strongly recommend that you follow the instructions exactly as they are written. So we first of all, remove the USB drive and then we touch back. And that is the process to perform an archive of your tablet, which is a backup of every single thing you have on there. 
and if there's ever a problem or you have upgraded your tablet to a new one then as I've mentioned earlier uh, Zoltan has already performed his magic and you only have to open up your new tablet go from the let's go back to the main menu we go to utilities and library maintenance and we choose reload libraries on your new tablet and simply insert the USB drive and it will now reload all your data from your old tablet and install it on your new tablet and once that's been completed your new tablet will mirror your old tablet so if you have organized all your patterns into folders that you have named yourself then that's how they will show up on the new tablet as well so you'll barely notice a difference it will also include the quilt that you are currently working on that might be in your last project folder and then once it's been completed we again follow the instructions to the letter that, uh, that is on the screen so we remove the USB drive and then we touch back and you will find that everything will be if you want to view print patterns you'll find that everything is in the exact same folders as what it is on your old tablet